Gets to all the universals, gets to all the shit. The he, be, does that he be Birdman, he be Wayne, he yeah. get all these people to get all the bread, and it still be on the radio consistently. Period. Even if his music not that great. Because like when he went on Saturday Night Live, I'm like, oh, it's the Code Switch. Oh, he the oh, you know, I'll be Grand, yeah. And he was on SNL, and then he on Fuck Flex. Like I'm just like, <laughs> he doing the Code Switch because we all know the Code Switch. But then, like, I see, like, bro, Drake, I'm like, bro, he, his, his career is just too, I'm like, bro, like, it's flawless. too prepared. It's too flawless. Like, I'm like, bro, who's the machine? Yeah. Who's the machine, bro? And that's why I was like, bro, he had Jewish. Now, even the best rapper of all time, Eminem had a few slips ups. You know what I'm Even then. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He had, he had, a, few, he had a few duds in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He is no. white crack ass didn't even keep going. You feel me? No, he but, 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 but <laughs> oh, I see. You, know what what you see where it's going. I see where it's going. I see where it's going. I see where it's going. Now he's going to recover. Yeah, exactly. You see where it's going. Yeah. That's but, just my theory of it, though. That's no, just, no, but I mean, but... But Kanye was though. right, right? Go ahead and say it. Yeah. <laughs> he was right, bro. Kanye <laughs> was right. He was just going to say that shit. They you ain't Gap, bro. Like, you got Gap, Adidas, bro. Like, come on. Like, what Kanye said? Well, Kanye said, Kanye said it exactly what he said. These motherfuckers run everything. They if run you disagree everything. with them, you feel me? They are gonna suppress you or get rid of you, and they are gonna oh, cancel yeah. you. Period. How the how the dude gonna stand right next to Trump, bro? Right on that shit, and then all of a sudden he say something. Hey, 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 hey! I'm not so, making so, kind of so. Asian Asian. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my dude. I, I've known him since I was like six years old. Okay. So we grew up together. Okay, well I'm taking the day. I grew the longer though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? That's just my that's my shit. I I that, I feel that way. I feel the same way though. You feel me? Because uh-huh. my whole shit is like I'm kind of I take it from a different perspective. You feel me? I'm like he'll be trash. Raised in the same ghetto as everybody else, or whatever. But it's like, I mean, it's facts, right? Like, you feel me? And then what happens when uh, Kyrie or whatever, anybody say anything, they still suppress all they shit do. So it's all propaganda. Well, hey, they still okay. trying to take people down. I think, right? I mean, see, this is a say, podcast we talk about. But say, right. memory, I think I got a hard drive in my backpack. What? To if for 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 our shit to to save your memory on yours. Oh no, you good. You oh, good. Okay. Hey, you, it's, 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 let's let's So we get into this whole we hate to do shit on this podcast, right? No, we're not doing that. No, no, is that <laughs> Mike Two? Is that Mike Two? Huh? Because uh, Mike Two ain't moving. Hello, yeah, hello, yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah. All right, check, so this check, is me check, over here. Check. Yeah, it's good. Straight. Bro. Am I straight? Yeah, Am I yeah, good? yeah, yeah, yeah. You see two? No, Mike Two is never gonna move. Marty says oh, so. right, oh, both of these gonna move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, but yeah, we we gonna kill all that. Oh, that was all getting recorded. Huh? I, I recorded all of that racist what? shit that yeah. was happening just then. So oh, y'all want to do it? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right, we're well, all on this one, baby. You fuck. You fuck. I'm making it over your podcast. Don't make it. Yeah, you drink. Right now, making it on the mainstream. Hey, we're going to figure it out. Do we got to start over or we can just pick up where we left off? No, we can pick up. We can pick up. Okay. And now I'm just going to. Merge them together and then right. set up. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, shit. Where the fuck are we at? I'm fucked. I don't know. I gotta do some push ups. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so. Uh, you had we, a question. I had a question? Yeah, you had a question. That's where we left off. I, I know you don't remember that shit. I don't. My yeah. memory, I, I got a memory of a fucking ant. It's all good. Fucking, uh. I was having a good time talking about Drake. Just saying. Oh shit, bro. See, you about to... <laughs> no, no, but I know what what, what I was what I was going to say was that Would now now, now since like in, that in, oh that that was, that was my world. question that was my question I said now that you hearing the the samples that's going on today from our era now so now that we hear that how do you feel when you hear somebody sample like a music that we grew up to like compared to how our parents grew up to hold on are we recording right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good question because <laughs> basically what people were talking—that's fine. <laughs> but basically, like when those artists start saying like certain things, like "Oh, like Tupac, some I would never listen to," but then they hear a Tupac record and then they flip it 
that's where I'm just like respect the sample comes in. It's just like you have to respect what came before. You have to. I just don't feel. You got I just don't, foundation. You just don't come in the world and your house is fucking built. You got to fucking. There's no original gotta, thought in hip hop anymore. So no. when they see something, they sample it, and it's just like, bro, like you know that that was sample. I don't even know if Corla Ray even knew until after the fact. Well, I, gotta, you know, I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about the producer that knew. Hey, so so real quick, real quick, real quick. So, and, so I heard, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, no, like you said, Corey Commemoration didn't know. I heard that Tory Lanez didn't know the brownstone shit. Like you said, mm. oh. you said, you said, well, you said back up, again. back up. You Rewind. said Tory Lanez did not know that that was a brownstone. He came out and said that shit. He didn't know it was a brownstone sample. Oh, he deserved to go to jail. <laughs> Lock that nigga up. Ah, damn. Dang it. Lock that nigga up. Tory Lanez. <laughs> Tory Lanez <laughs> say it. Oh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, document Tory Lane say it. Say he didn't know that was Brownstone's sample. Troy, he a uh, hair plug specialist, bro. Holla at me, dog. I need that before you get like that. <laughs> <laughs> he had that infinite hairline. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. He didn't get a plug to his daddy. You seen that nigga daddy? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, why did he give his daddy a taper uh, tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> tattoo hey, tattoo. <laughs> bro. I was like, not even, he was going in, and I just wasn't listening because I was looking at all this, but I was hey, like, this is Jay-Z, this is Rock Nation, yeah. like, yo, his head, his head is whooped, that nigga is like Carlos Boozer, hey, 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 that motherfucking line was gone in 60 seconds, that shit was popping by Sharpie, oh, damn, sweat out that purse, sweat out that kit, oh, man, no, but you know what's funny is that after my bad. But no, no, like, no, you good, you good. Tory Lanez after that happened, I think the brownstone thing is funny. Mm. It's interesting because now um, I don't know if the chicks tapes actually started rolling in because he started sampling all over the place. Now, now he was like, oh wow, that might be my mm-hmm. my stick to claim is to actually start flipping things. So after that mistake, when people were like, you know, brownstone, bro? right? Like now he's just like picked it up and then he got chicks tape. Now you're doing all R and B and sound. But, but that's what it is when it comes to music, bro. Compared to like sports, that's like you listen to an interview with Kobe Bryant, bro. He mm-hmm. talking about fucking Oscar Roberts, this person. You know what I'm he saying? He know over. all of the he stats and everything. Motherfuckers yeah. don't go back and study this shit, no. bro. And, and that's why it sounds like you don't study the, the the shit from the past. And, right? that's, and that's a great segue. Real quick, real, that's a great segue since we're gonna get into sports in a minute. Right. When you like, you get these some of these these kids nowadays. The terminology you've been mossed, right? You got mossed with something in football. Mm-hmm. A lot of these kids don't even know where it came from. They think it's just a it's a damn verb or now whatever the fuck yeah. you want to call it they don't even know like no that is a real person they were like oh man I thought it was just a phrase when you just catch it on somebody's head oh, yeah. but look at the player who did it yeah but it's, it's, that goes back to the argument when it was just all about oh MJ LeBron like nigga y'all completely skipped over Kobe man, man. Nigga, like, it's just like what is y'all nuts. talking about that drives me nuts and man. that's how I feel about the sample shit it's like y'all can't just go from one era and just skip a whole goddamn 40 years yeah, right so, you know so, 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 so for me just to touch base on that whole thing though it's yeah. like when you got somebody like uh, Troy Troy Lanes or anybody else Mm-hmm. We forget that that freestyle that they're doing, they fucking busting out bars, and he been caught stealing cannabis bars before. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Oh, cannabis. But at the same time, they not doing it for the record sales or any of that. They doing it for the live views and the clicks and the and, and the, the interactions with the fans on social media. So yeah. like, you feel me? So so he'll steal everybody's bars and spit them and you, you'll you think you're a kid, you hear him for the first time, damn, he's amazing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's just buying somebody else's stuff. He's not putting it out and getting paid off that. He's just getting paid off them streams and them views. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's the biggest thing that you, you, you forget a lot of times where these people steal bars, rap over beats, you know what I'm saying? They don't have to worry about none of that. They just gonna take your shit. They're gonna put it out. The new crowd's gonna hear it. They're gonna think you the God. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then they might buy your shit later. And just to expand on what you're saying, sorry to cut you off, but to expand on that, that's why this generation is so crazy because they don't even care. No, they don't care. Not at all. Oh, he stole that shit like, oh, shit slapped off. Yeah. And that's, that's a, it. And it's a word that I hate. I hate this word homage. Homage is 
is means I'm politely stealing your shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> what the word how you know, I had to pay. I had to, I had to come up yeah. off that. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah like, I, I, I just yeah. seen the interview with uh, Bun B. His uh, 99 Problem, Jay Z. The first four bars are from Bun B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't know that. And Bun B on there, like, oh, you just pay a homage. No, man, he stole your shit, man. <laughs> well, they, they, hey, they also Jay-Z, stole it Jay-Z. from. Yo, go uh, ahead. It, no, 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 but I'm just saying that Jay Z did that shit along for a long time in the word Notorious B.I.G. B.I.G., but then the 99 the Problems part. was from uh, Ice, Ice T. T. Ice T. Right, so Ice T had made that whole song. No. It got flipped. And then everybody heard Cameron this for Jay Z, so I mean, nah, but, but, but I see though, I see got I see made it like it was bad, like he stole my shit. Ooh, ooh. Then in the in other interviews, said yeah, but I got my publishing and everything. Oh, you got paid, bro. I know, so sh- I'm not, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah why, why are you, you talking got shit? You got paid. That's, you got paid, that's, you right? got yeah. well, that's, that's the whole concept of their show, right? The 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 the, 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 the samples, right? You got yeah. Yeah. But it's every, but, but it's not it's not just the music though, bro. It's it's any type of art, bro. Uh, I, I picked this book up, bro. There it's called Still Like an Artist. Yeah. It's hella examples in this book, bro, of people that have stole. It ain't just hip hop. It ain't just R and B. Like from different, uh, like Picasso. Right. Everybody like thinks Picasso is just a great painter. He stole Locks. from hella a- underground African artists right. that that would never get on. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Nigga, I seen an uh, interview with Quincy Jones where he was talking about. How Michael Jackson used to steal from different artists like Donna Summer, how he was used to steal from like Rick James yeah, yeah. and people like that, bro. You have to kind of look at it like if I'm the if I'm not the if I'm the only person that's not stealing and I'm losing, it, it it's like I'm baseball. Steal, it's, like, it's, it's like, like baseball. Yeah, bro, it's like playing baseball, yeah. bro. When motherfucker everybody was on uh steroids, I'm the only nigga natural. Nigga, and my batting average is 250. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a copycat lead, bro. Yeah. I mean, that, that that's how Chris stole my fuck style. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker beat my whole shit. Oh, shit. Bro, nobody, nobody watching your stroke. Nobody watching your stroke. First of all, she was wild, bro. I was like, oh, man. Your shit was long enough to be a gif, nigga. You didn't go that long. Get out of here, bro. Hey, but it's like a repeat. I forgot his name, but Big Papa I heard was originally from Oakland, mm. and he met somebody with the same flow style, or whatever, and he took that shit, Big Papa, and he ran with it. Yeah, it sounds like a lot. Yeah. If you have the bag, you do that. Like Puff yeah. do that. So yeah. it's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna give you money. You know, just be cool. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna let this ride, but you know, secretly gonna be like a secret partner. How much? But it's the same thing. What's what's brother in that uh, role for Drake? It's the same shit. Oh Ooh, yeah, that nigga Quentin Miller. Yeah. I heard I heard his shit, and I was like, yeah. Throw Drake shit back on. Oh you know yeah, no, like, like yeah. some people just don't got. It's the voice. It is. It's the. It's everything it that's wrapped into it, bro. You know I what I mean? Saying? What was Drake's song where he's riding around the bay? He stole. Uh, model, model. Model. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, and also yeah. like yeah, and then he had. So how he, how he he stole Forte shit. Yeah, Forte. Yeah, yeah, that's Forte. You know what I'm saying? And the name of the whole verse. Yeah. The whole shit. That's just crazy. You know what I mean? That's why I say he get away with shit. Yeah. Ain't gonna talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you think that? I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. It's Tell not. Through Shade of Devil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like being original. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like being original. I don't know what year it died in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, but it's, it's not. You know. It died in 2005. Yeah, it died 2005, five with uh with Gilbert Arenas with the gun shit. Right. He had his gun shit right, and now we were like, what? 15 years later, five years later, whatever. And John Ramette. Yeah, John Ramette. John Ramette yeah. doing the same. I was going to say, hey, hey, I seen somebody call that nigga John Warren. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I
trouble in a bag. I heard bro. Josh, bag. John Wick. Big time, bro. I would just yeah. say, I would just say, like the last time you heard original music or somewhat original music coming out of every different part of the nation, you know what I'm saying? It was around 2005 to 2002, you know what I'm saying? You could have Texas music, you would listen to, you know, East Coast people, you could listen to West Coast, you could listen to the Bay Area, yeah. you could listen to everybody, and everybody had their own they flair, their own, they own, they own style, yeah, they everybody know. had their own dance moves, everybody yeah. had yeah, their own up. movements. That's and now up. everybody is the same melodic sound, mm-hmm. everybody's the same fucking goofy shit that they do. Oh, you yeah. know, yeah. pace. And, and, you know, it, it might be cool, but it's like, is that's why they say the sound's dying. You feel me? I, I mean, mean but what does that say about society if hip hop is supposed to be self expression and everybody sounds the same? You know what that's I'm saying? That's the crazy thing about it. And because, I almost, because now this younger generation I think this, no, no. this younger generation is programmed. The yeah. younger generation they want the instant satisfaction, they want the instant win, so they don't wanna take the time to get it out the mud and express themselves like the like the ones before them did. So they said, Okay, well, if he became an overnight hit and going viral yeah. by doing this, well, I'm about to do Dude, exactly what he did and yeah. put a little of my own twist to it, and I'm gonna see if that shit works. And that shit, if I can bowl on that, then we, and then, then, and then the next person does that, then the next person does that. So it's a copycat league. But see, it's now we got into the world where everybody has an option. See, back when we was growing up, we didn't have no fucking option. No, because it dropped every Tuesday. You had Rasputin. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like you had that only. You had radio. And then you had to go pick it up at the store, right? Yeah. But now everybody has the fucking option. Now my dad can just be like, I don't feel like this to the radio or anything else. I'm just going to listen to this playlist by Rick Brown, right? right? Or, yeah. you know what I'm saying, Stevie Wonder. Right. The same thing with these kids. So now they have all of these different little Uzis and, you know what I mean, trippy reds all over the place. And you realize that now these kids are like, okay, he's going to be my vessel for the emo rap. Mm-hmm. But somebody else down the way, he's picked this person to be the person to be the vessel for his emotional rap. Right. So it's like we gave people so much now, it's just fucked up. Yeah. Everybody has options. Yeah. And, that's, and that's Lil Wayne with that shit. Yeah. I feel like, I was, told, I was I put in a group chat today, I feel like the first emo rap song came out with Lil Wayne, I feel like dying. Mm. When that shit came out, yeah, once, nah, once the drugs was gone, I feel Ooh, like dying. Yeah. That's when the, when the XX uh, Stention, Juice World, all that uh, depression music came out and suicide rate went up. So, a lot of stuff with Wayne. It's, yeah. like, they're, it's like their vessel. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, I can't take that away, but I understand. It's just like, it's just it's, it's too much. It's, it's overcooked. Bro, I seen somebody say that's the sad boy wave. I am fuck whatever you say I am. <laughs> Don't even start with me about the but, same but, <laughs> but anyway, what I was gonna say is more That was more aggressive. Yeah. But but yeah, Eminem was self, just, uh, Eminem didn't make you want to kill you. He no, didn't want to no, kill somebody. It, it, yeah, it's the cell phone way though. Yeah. It's the cell phone way. So nobody in no coast has a has an identity anymore. No, yeah. everybody sees what everybody doing. Everybody mimics everything that they see. You feel me? Bro, so back, back, when we grow up. It would be us, right? Bro. So y'all had y'all shit. You feel me? You want to speak on it? The yeah. Western Conference, they did their little shit for the P or whatever. And then you had people in Oakland doing their shit. You had it, and, it, and that, that would be the Bay Area. And, it, and you had a sound and you had a culture. But everybody and had then, a sound. And then and it would, and, but then every every county, every place had their own sound, their yeah, own they way. They did. Now everybody has a cell phone 24-7 recording everything. And everybody biting everything that's around. Look, so when... We was coming up, so for those of you who don't know, um, and if you ain't in Pittsburgh, you probably don't. Um, I used to have a group called the Western Conference, bro, and we had a song called P World. It was on the radio. We was talking about, you know, my very small city of Pittsburgh, California, smallest city in the Bay Area. Um, and when I was started first making music, everybody in Pittsburgh was getting their beats from the same people. Mm-hmm. It was either uh, Rob Lowe or Mackie. So a lot of the people's beats were sounding like they came from them. You know, every right. producer has a style. Right. So I was like, when I start making beats, I want my shit to sound totally different, bro. Mm-hmm. We used to go to all the hood house parties and the G spots, Black Saturdays and shit right. like that. Right. I wanted some shit that would play in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And what was playing in there? Lil John, B.I.B. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was trying to make mm-hmm. music that sounded, you know what I'm saying, more similar to that. So you want to be universal. You don't want to be. You don't want to be 
So, so you don't want to put yourself in a box. Exactly, and yeah. I, I just wanted to be like a little, bit, you know, different than the other rappers that was coming out. Right. Um, uh, Pittsburgh at that time, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And the only way you can be different is if your beats sound different. Absolutely. At the end of the day, bro, it's it's worse today, but. Even back then, bro, nobody listened to the lyrics for real. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Niggas is listening to them beats, bro. They if if the them beats don't catch, mm -hmm. then it's a rap. That's you see, you see the perfect example with Nas, bro. Nas and Jay-Z. I think Nas raps just as good as Jay-Z, mm -hmm. but Jay-Z's a better beat picker. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it was always important for me to have, you know what I'm saying, just the, the, the beats sounding different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, now it's... Go ahead. Oh, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead and finish. I, got, I, got I was going to tell you one quick thing. The, the perfect example what you're saying is drill music. Yeah. Drill is like the new wave of what what sound is going about, right? So you got the Chicago shit, you got the New York shit, you got all the different ways where they're doing it. It's the same the same thing that's going on, but they put a little flair on it. But it's that's what's hot right now. They want to do their drill thing. Mm -hmm. So that's where it's gonna be hard to different differentiate yourself. From somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Because all y'all sound the same. So now, why is Chicago music New York's music now? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back in, yeah. But it really came from the UK. It really yeah. came from the UK. <laughs> and it's funny, though, because it's like, bro, New York, man, I hate to say it, bro. Like, it's just like, bro, after 50, like, what? Like, because right. it, it was all now, it's all trap in New York. Mm -hmm. You know, Cardi B, like, took that lane. You know what I mean? And now it's the drill shit. Yeah. It's like they really just lost the real, like, essence of, the like, essence what? Essence of hip hop. Hip hop. Y'all, the motherfucking claim y'all was the birthplace. And now y'all, it's, it's like it's losing it. No, yeah, but that's, that's why, you, no, see, no, that's no, why you see people it, like Davies. You see people like it's Griselda. They're yeah. coming up on the underground. But people, like, when I listen to a nigga from New York, I want that nigga to sound like he's from New York. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you want that dream. Street you want yes. that dream music. Yeah. yeah. I, want, I want to hear the, the, the fucking Wu-Tang. I want to hear the... The, the shit that, that, that yeah, when yeah. you hear them, like you said, and it goes back to what we were saying. You, when you hear... You look like what's when, 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 when you <laughs> hear... <laughs> but... It comes to the point where you can hear a New York instrumental. Yeah. And you know you're going to get some gutter shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And same thing. You know when you come to California, you're going to hear a little bounce. You're going to have a Cali. You're going to hear a Cali yeah. bounce. This shit going to make this a vibe. It's going to make you feel good. You're going to yeah. want to party. You're going to feel like you had a barbecue. But yeah. that's because back then, bro, like I didn't really understand New York music until I lived on the East Coast. And I was really in New York, and I'm like, bro, this is the concrete jungle. Nigga, it ain't hella sunny like yeah. from where we from. You know what I'm saying? But then, like you were saying, you out here, you hear shit like Too Short, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You hear shit like, you know what I'm saying, Snoop in the bass yeah. lines and shit yeah, like yeah. that. It reminds you of, let's go to a barbecue, you know what I'm saying? Like, out, it, it's, it's supposed to, to really represent where you from. Yeah. UGK, they had all of the church organs and shit like that. That's the Bible Belt, nigga, you yes, know what I'm saying? Is. Of course, it has all of that shit in Hell, there. Yeah. But now it's just, like you said, it's a cell phone. Everybody sounds the same. Like, bro, I used to live in LA during, like, from 2005 to 2008, bro. Immediately, without me opening my mouth, I know you from the Bay. How? How you dress? Bro, niggas in LA don't be wearing your bows like that. Mm -hmm. They don't, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's cold. We ain't, you ain't got pea coats on and shit like that, bro. Like, yeah. I'm what, in what's Bay Area style, man? Yo, like, you in Long style, Beach. But, but also, too, like, the, to the other side, too, it's about the money and shit. They say it take two hundred thousand dollars to put out a hit song. People putting out, putting people who sound together together on a hit song. It's now you got Instagram, TikTok, where you can anybody get on that shit and say something. I guarantee you, hundred percent. If that boy Simba did not say he from the Bay, nobody would know he from the Bay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, that's yeah. true. That's, that's very that's true. true. So it's like a lot of people don't sound alike. But it's, it's a hit, it's a hit and a miss. And, and he said, I, I, heard him, I heard him say that on, on one of his songs. He was like, and he said people tell him, he like, he don't sound like he from the Bay. But the Bay nigga out here running the game he, right now. He could, he could, shout out to Simba, by he, the he way. Could, he, he, said, he, could, he, could, sure. he couldn't get on because he did, he, he wasn't Keith. He wasn't 40. He, would, he didn't have that That's Rick Rock beat. Point. He didn't you know have that Rick Rock beat. Yeah. In the interviews, he'd yeah. be like, oh, that nigga Jaws in or hella, and right. I'm like, oh, he, oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you really have to like sit down and really, like, bro. If you know, bro. you know, kind of we're doing. Yeah, it's you, like you, you just we, know. We got a whole 
Bay Area, we know for hyphy music, right? Yeah. But right now, out the bay, it's not hyphy. At all. Simba is not hyphy. Larry Jr. is not hyphy. Right. That, but that, yeah. that, 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 that died. Bro. It died immediately, yeah, bro. So you, bro, you you would you blinked, you would have missed it. Yeah, so yeah. we was in the studio with Jack. Jack was like, "Yeah, I like this this hyphy music that y'all doing, but y'all gotta stay doing y'all real music, right?" Mm-hmm. So this is during nigga the hyphy we in the peak of the hyphy yeah, move, right? 2003 to 2005. Bro, yeah. look, 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 look. This nigga, this nigga's like, bro, y'all gotta make sure y'all be a real man, right? So I'm like, all right, cool, right? At that time, I'm getting kind of jaded, you know what I'm saying, from the music industry and, and, and whatever. So finding success, yeah, bro. So I'm, I'm, I, I end up like, all right, fuck it, I'm not, I'm not even gonna do this shit no more, right? Jack. Making his real music after all of these niggas fell off, he became the biggest nigga yep. in the Bay Area. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You, you go watch uh school. motherfucking um uh Fruitville Station. His music is the music that's in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I don't really hear nobody else's shit in right. there because that was the shit that niggas was playing at that time, bro. Right. You feel me? So I think that Jack Art is still probably yeah. one of my favorite Bay Area. Yeah, yeah I think I think music yeah. is still around. It's just hard to to, to see. Uh, shout out to one of my uh, new up and coming artists. I kind of don't like him on a regular song, but his live performances is hyphy as hell. La Russell. Oh, yeah. Go oh, yeah. get that bag, it's hyphy. I don't give yeah. a fuck what nobody say. Yeah. Go get that bag. I, you know what's funny? I think now hyphy is more now kind of like a spirit now because when you hear, you know, Kevin Allen and the Grand National. They know what hyphy is. Mm-hmm. They know slap. Yeah. But it's like more in them than more of them going out about right. it. Because yeah, right. now that La Russell will be like, oh hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, oh yeah, you, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's not like what it was before. Because I'm gonna tell you what, even though it was a blink of an eye, it seemed like it when we go back to it, it's like time froze. Yeah. It did. From like I mean, five, like no, but, 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 but from right now, but, but you don't like, know. Out cars, bro. 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 Like, bro, we were, yeah. It's, that shit it's, wild. It's, it's not yeah. high, it's not high yeah, it's wild I bet you right now, none of y'all know it's a song called Pop My Shit. You know the name of the song? You know who's with? I think it's called Pop My Shit. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song called Pop My Shit. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a high fee song, right? You know who the artist on the song is? Who? E40, right? Okay. Featuring Larry June. And it's high fee as fuck. Mm-hmm. And it's new. Mm. Yeah, listen to that. Pop my shit. E forty feature Larry Jones. I mean, the only problem I had really just trying to keep up with some of the music is <coughs> E forty got about seventy million songs to come out each month, and I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to listen, bro. bro, bro. <laughs> like, bro, can I get a classic? Can I get a Charlie Hustle? How do you yeah, get up this song? Hey, hey, Charlie Hustle. That's my favorite E forty. Yeah, that's my oh, favorite oh, too. But oh, like, bro, can I get one of those? Like, can you can you make it uh, digestible for me? You feel me? Can I not yeah. have a, a three C D release, you feel me, where I gotta listen to all this music? Like, bro, like I love your music. Can you just give me a seventeen yeah. songs? Yeah, bro? Give, yeah. me, give me something that's just fire. You feel I me? think that's what it goes back to is like you have an artist and then you get that one piece of music. And then now after that, you see, it seems like you have to share the artist with everybody. And then when they like something that's like music, like, oh, nigga, you know this shit though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, I totally like, agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody was like, oh yeah, like the old, like the uh, new E40. You're like, nigga, no. Right. Okay, so all right, so it's like mouthpiece. Yeah, it's a mouthpiece. General report card, but he was like, like, hold on, you didn't wasn't even paying attention. Paying attention, bro. You yeah. way late, bro. You know I seen. Mean? We talked about it on the episode. We did a yay area episode. Bro, they they introduced this nigga as a new artist, bro. That shit happened. Wow. E40 was 137 years old when that shit. Like, you know, six six old 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 old. like, new art, like, uh. <laughs> What? Right. Hey, shout, out, shout out to my man, Be Legit, bro. You don't get the love you deserve, hey, bro. Be you look got crazy. Space flame 24 yeah, 7, bro. Yeah. That's to me, right. like, I like I like Be Legit just as much as I like E40. I just don't feel like he had that, that he, shine. He didn't get the shine. shine on but him. I mean, yeah. if you listen to that little, little combo albums, you feel me? The click, all that old His shit. verses is just as hard, bro. Yeah. He, he I mean, hell, his, his hard to be legit album is fire. Yeah. Mm hmm. There's a gang of artists out in the Bay Area, but I mean, it was like museum. Endless. Ooh, man. endless, endless. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we head out on this shit, I just got a one question and make me like confused as fuck. We all get paid on Fridays, right? Mm-hmm. Why the fuck was music up on Tuesday? We broke. <laughs> <laughs> we broke. Why the fuck?
couple of records. I know now they've been dropping on. Well, no, now they now they've been dropping. Back in the day, when you buy a CD, you buy it on a Tuesday. Yeah, that's a good that, ass question. That, that's a great question because, because you get paid on Friday. You just smoke that shit by Sunday. Because now that's that you know that, go. that Thursday so, night release scan. for us, and then East Coast is midnight. So that Friday, you know what I mean? So yeah, but back in the day, when you when when you can buy go to Rasputin Tower Records, shout out Tower Records because. If you can you can mess up and buy the wrong CD and two weeks later you pay that shit back within two weeks. Yeah, yeah. That's why they're out of business, baby. Everybody out. I'm the fucking shit. Ain't nobody here. Holy shit! Hey, upload all that shit on my wire. Shout out to the business that I ended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I, I, it was like that. I wouldn't. I knew because you know, I already had the timeline. You go, you gonna come out in two fourteen. You gonna come out in two twenty one. I purposely bought. Uh, think look, was that's why right, you right? hat so you act like you deliver some shit. No, 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 Second CD. I wouldn't mm. bought that knowing that two short come out the next week. Mm. So I bought the little Kim CD first. Was that the Notorious KM album? Yeah, the Notorious KM, the second one. And I bought that. And dude was like, oh man, you gay as hell about no Kim. I said, bro, you don't know what I'm doing, bro. Shut up, bro. You know <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the one with high money, legs can you in my head. Why are you playing yeah, yeah. that? I was like, bro. He like, got to get the cardboard cut out on here. You know, it's for the girls, man. It's such and such, man. So, and I ended up taking that shit back and got too short. You know, so it was like two and one. He's like, oh, nigga, now you're gonna play this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Hey, that man, bro. Explaining yourself. You, that motherfucker. Explaining yourself to the fucking the guy at the front yeah. door. Like, oh, no, no, no. no this, this, was, this was back in the hood. When I went to the, to the hood, like, bro, what you doing with that stupid thing? You're not you working at oh, you. You oh. don't give a damn. You don't give a damn. You don't give a damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he said he on the block. It was early 2000. It was early 2000. And shout out my CD game back in the day, because my shit was popping like it was so yeah, good okay. and I had to uh, <laughs> I had to uh, fire yeah, Letterman jackets a little bit jacket, all that shit man we, 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 we used to shout out Livewire because we used to fake we used to make our fake uh, best Bro. hits mm. DMX best hits mm. BG best hits our version what we all had oh, yeah. hey, y'all don't remember uh, gumbo mixes though huh yeah gumbo mix y'all remember gumbo yeah, mixes yeah, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little bit older than y'all you know what I'm saying so what it was was uh, rest in peace, my uncle Carl. Gumbo mixes used to be like how you used to make greatest hits, whatever. Yeah. It would be like the mixtape DJs before the mixtape DJs. That's so they'll have video. every single Bay Area song that you want to hear on the same CD. They might throw in a couple of mainstream songs or whatever. But you know, this is back in the day where you literally have to buy all of these CDs right. just for one song, bro. They'll have the gumbo mixes and it'll have all of the slaps on there. Yeah, I I I used to, one time. I used to get my CDs and sell them five dollars a pop, right? Click a killing. Me and my cousin, we was making the killing, and I had an employee who wanted to get put on. <laughs> and uh, he laughing back there. You know what he is? He sold five, five, five a pop. We had, we know one, one. Your little corner boy, my corner boy, over there. <laughs> and uh, he, he is I and I am him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and put it out yeah. there. He's just right. He's talking about me. <laughs> he was doing good. He was doing good until he didn't, he didn't do his math right. <laughs> you know, we dropping BG, Chopper Chicken in the Ghetto, all this, and uh, Lil' Kim, Too Short. Tupac passed away, rest in peace, dropped until the end of time. Double this. He said, he, we give him the thing, come back with $5. Yeah, remember that shit? He come back with $5 only. He said, never short of play. He said, where, where, where the other five at? Oh, she, she, she only gave me five. <laughs> she... Oh, little bro, you, you, it's two discs. We tell them five. <laughs> at least do seven. Don't yeah, give her a free CD. I won't get one free, man. Yeah. I was doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's just say that, that was my last day. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. That was it. My employee. Man, yeah. hey, he said, hand hey, in your badge. Hand your badge and all that, man. Yeah. Like, bro, you can't do this, bro. Oh, we we used to we used to take the like the fake print print them out all that shit we used to make it a little legit. No, we we he had the covers and everything. We had the disc, had to print it out the cover like 
My was hot because we used hella color ink. ink. You know, yeah, make it the the color. Yeah, yeah, we had to. Yeah. So we got when we got our money though. We we stopped. We we left. We left. My went to Office Depot, and we did that shit. And then they. We're good for like two months, and they said, "Yo, y'all doing is illegal. We gotta shut y'all down." I said, "Well, I'm doing it for myself. I'm not selling it." Glad we didn't tell it was. Hey, I want to send a shout out to all of the uh, Tower Records employees. You know what I'm saying? You and my thoughts and prayers. Hey, shout out my man KP for uh, Parkside man. He was the real bootleg king man. <laughs> he was at everything man. The movies, everything, dog. <laughs> Hey, y'all remember that store that used to sell them uh, bootleg shoes and shit that got shut down and yeah, got raided yeah. by the feds? Yeah. Uh, by the bully? Exactly. They got, they got, they got, they got, they got, ra- they got raided I, 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 by I, I, the I, I, feds. I bought some fake ass Buzz Barnes Bob Jays. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 everybody did. Yeah, the, 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 the Jersey boy had about one billion throwbacks that was fucking propaganda like yeah. a <laughs> Man. I think I bought yeah, a Bo yeah, Jackson yeah, and said Bo Raxon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to read. Fuck oh, it. Oh, man. He bought an album. Oh, he bought an album. Hey. He said Bebo Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all know they got raided by the feds. That's what I heard. Because of. Like the DVD copyright type shit, the same shit that happened. Hey, yeah, you know what? I got no, I got, I got caught up in that shit in uh, in, in Antioch. Uh, yeah, somebody, yeah. somebody said I was selling weed or something at the house, and I'm like, "Pull five o, I ain't doing that shit." So they're like, "Come in and check." I'm like, "Cool, come and check." It wasn't my shit, but I had bought bootleg DVDs, and they said you might go down, might go down sure, for this show. I'm like, what the "Fuck you doing it? Like it's stolen property, it's fake shit. You in your, your possession." Mm. So I'm like, oh, fuck this yeah, shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, y'all, y'all, hey, thought, hey. y'all thought Lil Wayne had the block this hot. Hey, <laughs> we all see at the beginning of the fucking movie. He recorded. <laughs> hey, what you doing, bro? The fucking law he's breaking, but y'all thought it was a game. Yeah. <laughs> I before, the motherfuckers kicked out your door and took out all your fucking, I don't know, my boy had them fucking like six stacks. You feel me? The burn shit. They took all this shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Before we end this, though, y'all got anything to say to uh, shout out Oh, yeah, yeah, man, 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 put your name out there, man. Tell the world where they can find y'all, y'all social, everything, y'all. You want, you want us to put our real name out there? No, no, no. Yeah, Mark yeah. talking about no. it. Hey, hey, tell them the most fucked up. Respect the podcast. Hey, hey, tell them the most fucked up stupid shit you got caught up for. That'd be the funniest thing. And then tell them your name. Hey, man, just tell your name. There's a statute of limitation for this shit, bro. You got to get it popped. We're not, we're not DJ Vlad, bro. We're not DJ Vlad. That's me for yourself. <laughs> Go ahead, fellas. Go ahead, All I gotta say is uh, you can follow me at uh, KevinArmani.tv. You know oh, 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 oh. Is, is that your name on all social platforms? All social platforms. Okay. Yeah, follow me uh, as Cousin Kev TV. Make sure you guys tune in to the episode where we had listened to the Difference podcast. On our episode, you see how I got the name. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Slow, 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 shout out to the cutty. Slow down, and you know yeah. what I'm saying. He's yeah, a, shout out man. Marty. Fucking you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> bro, I fucked up. Bro, I respect the sample. I, I fucked hey, up. Hey, cuz you too smart for that, bro. You got the hat on. <laughs> that's a that's a smart nigga hat. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, he might go hit the links right. He after found that there. outside. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, it's it's a different podcast with respect to sample. We're speaking on samples. Everything is a sample. We're all samples. We all get pussy from our father's features. (laughs) They call me a real purebred, though. You feel me? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) That was good. That was good. That was a good one. Well, I appreciate y'all for uh, letting me indulge on my bullshit.